السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میرا نام ثاقب میں نے سر عمران کے یوٹیوب چینل اور سر عمران کے نوٹ سے مطلب آئی ایس بی کی تحریک کی تھی جس کی وجہ سے الحمد للہ میری آئی ایس بی پاس ہوئی ہے سر عمران کا بہت بہت میں گزار ہوں جس کی مدد سے میں نے آئی ایس بی کا انیشیل بھی سر عمران کی مدد سے میں نے پاس کی اور آئی ایس بی بھی سر عمران کی مدد کی ہے سر عمران کو اللہ تعالیٰ دونوں جہاں میں خوش رکھے السلام علیکم جنٹل مین میں نے میز عبد الماجد آئی ایم فروم محمد ایجنسی پچھلے ہفتے میں نے سر عمران کی اکیڈمی جوائن کی تھی السید فورسز اکیڈمی آف سر عمران اس میں ایک ہفتے پڑھائی کرنے کے بعد میں نے اے این ایف کا ٹیسٹ دینا تھا انٹرنا کارٹکس فورس کا اے ایس آئی کے لیے جس کو میں نے الحمد للہ کلیئر کر کر دیا ہے یہ سب میرے ماں باپ کی دعاؤں کی وجہ سے اور سر عمران کے انیشل نوٹس اور اس کی محنت کی وجہ سے ہوا ہے جو ہمیں صبح سویرے فزیکل ٹریننگ کراتے تھے ویل جنٹمن ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک از یو این او دا یو این او اسٹینڈس فار United Nations Organization. This organization was set up just after the same Second World War was over. The Second World War was the bloodiest war ever fought on the surface of this planet. So just after the war, the leaders of the world realized that the disputes must be resolved through dialogue, through peaceful dialogue. So they decided to form up an organization where the disputes of the countries are decided. And if there is a dispute between two countries, the same can be brought right on the platform and to get the decision, a just and fair decision from this platform. And in this way, the wars and destruction could be avoided. So this organization has two parts. One is the General Assembly, where the every member is has got its vote. And the other part is the Security Council. The Security Council, the Security Council comprises of the five permanent members and ten non-permanent members, temporary members. The five permanent members are the nuclear countries, those countries which have the nuclear power. America, China, Russia, USA and France. And rest, ten members, supposed to be elected by the General Assembly. This organization was further developed with the passage of time to improve and to look after the health of the people around the world. And then a, a sub-branch of the UNO was established that is called the World Health, Health Organization, WHO, where the rich countries had contributed a lot of funds to set up the research laboratories and to hire scientists to fight against the different pandemics and dangerous viruses. And then, with the passage of time, the Scientific Research Council was established to, to provide the knowledge, required knowledge, latest knowledge uh, and technologies to the member countries to improve their uh, science and technology and to improve the production in their industries and production of the different other uh, products like food and different other industries which require every time uh, advancement and research. So this, and with the passage of time, the things got further polished and now uh, the UN has got around one dozen branches which deal with the different subjects uh, which require uh, which required to be completed 
by the UN under the UN flag and in this way the things are getting uh, much easier and advanced with the help of different other rich countries with their resources funds under the flag of UN. So this is the organization where the things are still getting much better and better but peace could not be achieved under the flag of this organization as the things we do not are not resolved due to the due to the things practices wrong practices made and wrong favors which are made by the superpowers just everything is going well and this organization is working very well thank you Assalamu alaikum gentlemen, my name is Ayaz Ahmed and I am from Gujranawala. So gentlemen, today we are going to talk about today's topic which is the UNO, United Nations Organizations. It was established in October 1945 after the World War II because the world has recognized, the world has accepted this that the only peaceful solution of our problems is the dialogues. So they decided to make an international platform to maintain the international peace of the world and gave equal representation in the United Nations that every country, every country has right to give its opinion or to make some resolution in the General Assembly of United Nations Organization. And the second thing is about the Security Council which is working for the international peace especially and resolving the international issues. So I think if we talk about the importance of the United UNO then I believe, personally I believe that the world is not suffering any World War III. The reason behind this, one of the biggest reason is the UNO. Because whenever, whenever some issue is raised between two countries or between the more than two countries of the world, then they know that we have a peaceful way. We have an option. We have an option of dialogues in the form of United Nations organization. They go in the UNO and represent their issue. And all the countries make a collective and peaceful decision to resolve their issue. So that's why I personally believe that UNO is Assalamu alaikum sir. Assalamu alaikum my brothers. My name is Amir Hitab. I am from Mardan. First of all, I think may Allah who is the most merciful and the most powerful. Today is my topic about what we must do to live a successful life. My brothers, if you want to live a successful life, we must uh, go, uh, we must live our life through the, the rules of the Holy Quran and the constitution of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We do not uh, tell a lie and always uh, uh, speak the truth if you want to live a successful life and Peygamba sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the uh, lie is devastation and uh, truth is deliverance my brothers if you want to live a successful life we must to do uh, those things uh, whose make for the future whose make an example for the future people for example we must uh, we should uh, help the poor people and society we uh, should inf uh, we should improve our coverage do not uh, lose heart and accept every challenge in life and always uh, uh, hard working we should always uh, and hard working and hard working is a key to success my brothers uh, another thing for the successful life is that we uh, should accompany with justice and go 
against the cool my brothers another thing is take part a successful life if you want to uh, if you want to live a successful life we should uh, we should to live isolation uh, isolation and stand uh, through platform inshallah you will be successful in life and this is my topic uh, and i had discussed in the last wassalam i'm nishit anwaji bismillahir rahmanir rahim assalamu alaikum gentlemen my name is ayaz ahmed and i'm from gujranwala so gentlemen today we are going to talk about today's topic which is that what we must to do to live a successful life so gentlemen remember the success of your life is completely related with yourself if you want to become a successful in your life then the first thing you must to do you should know yourself better you should you should recognize you should understand your qualities you should know your good and weak points and then secondly make an aim of your life because the success of life without any aim it's meaningless so please make an aim of your life but according to your qualities according to your interest and then make your aim as a source of motivation which will consistently push you to make a very fine and sincere efforts and always always remain sincere and honest with your aim and the second thing is about your thoughts just groom up your thoughts as much as you can do and please don't put an upper limit on your thoughts because ilama akbal said ki sitaron se aage jahan aur bhi hain so i think you should groom your thoughts and you should think at a very wide level at a very big level and uh, at last the success of the life is not about a some specific category for example if a man if a person is a very successful in his professional life then it doesn't mean his life is successful the success of the life is related to many of the categories for example you should be successful in your professional life you should be successful in your religious life you should be successful in your family life in your social life and all these things when you will live a balanced 